All right, TGI Friday, real quick here. This morning we had mediation slash uh, negotiations with the city to try and knock out some items before we go to full arbitration in the very near future here. Unfortunately, though the city kind of moved a little further on management rights and capping the amount of hours an officer can be forced to work in a police period, uh, the ask was too great on their part on what they wanted in exchange for an all or nothing kind of package. It was like apples and oranges, if that might not even be a fair comparison. But uh, it was pretty much a poison pill and no agreement was reached today. Uh, so we're gonna continue to process, see what we can get accomplished, if anything. In the meantime, the AAA had sent the seven member panel uh, uh, options for us and the city has till Tuesday to strike three of those people from the list and then we have till Thursday to strike the three of the other four which will leave us with our arbitrator going forward for interest arbitration. We'll request the availability of that arbitrator that's left and the process will then formally start when the availability is uh, agreed upon. Um, it's a long process ahead yet. It's sad we had to be here, but they are fighting and dragging tooth and nail every single day, but we're not gonna stop fighting. Fighting is exactly why the COVID policy turned into what it was. It is why the judge forced it to go to arbitration, why the exemptions were granted at the level they were, which still weren't as high as we were, but we were never gonna curl up in a corner and stop fighting like everybody else seemed to do. It is why testing stopped. So I hope you understand and appreciate that uh, we're trying to lead the charge here in union protections, especially during Labor Day coming up here. We're certainly not gonna stop anytime soon or ever, but um, six more months, hopefully we have a more reasonable administration that can address the concerns of our members and this organization. Speaking of Labor Day, we will be out with the food trailer in the 8th District on Sunday, end of second watch into third watch, about 1 to 5 p.m., and on Monday in the 19th District. So if you're out and about or you're working in an adjoining area or district, please come by, grab a burger, hot dog, have a conversation. Let's celebrate Labor Day in style uh, as the preeminent law enforcement labor organization, not only in the city, the state, and the country. I will tell you the candlelight vigil is Tuesday. If you've never been to the candlelight vigil at Memorial Park, please try and make an effort to get there. Uh, it goes down at sunset, so it's a pretty solemn event. It's very well done. Uh, also, t Thursday nights, the finest baseball team will be playing a charity baseball game. Still trying to figure out who that's going to be, but there will be a baseball game Thursday night. All the proceeds, it's at Hot Dog Stadium in Rosemont. It will be 7 p.m. on Thursday. The proceeds will be uh, split up amongst three officers, Ballesteros, Moreno, and Avia, uh, who were all struck by gunfire in the line of duty this summer to help in their recovery as they're still off work and still got a long road to go. But uh, with that being said, have a good weekend. Watch each other back and enjoy the fact, I know the tier deployments aren't gonna agree with this, they are the only cancellations this weekend, but that's also because of the fight that we've tried to bring to this city and the police department about what is fair for our members' working conditions. If you don't understand how it happened, the tier deployments were going from three week rotations to six, week, six weeks rotation. They changed that in about a half a day's notice. So by the time people had learned that the rotations were gonna expand and be much more spread out, they changed their mind and in exchange, they decided they weren't going to cancel any RDOs for Labor Day weekend. Thankfully, at least on that level, the uh, six-week rotations will begin in October. Um, so when I say nobody's canceled this weekend, nobody except the tier deployments, which will be more spread out uh, this time come October. Everybody have a safe night. Thank you.